Sinner's Prayer, Tusi, aka Tusi Two Times. Let's talk about it. This artist is amazing. I think a lot of people don't understand how good of an artist he is. Yet, I think he has to prove himself, and he has to prove to himself, if not only himself, himself, <laughs> that he can do bigger things than what he think he can. I feel like Double XL passing on him this year was the wrong mistake. I feel like as though come 2021 Double XL, it's it's gonna be too late to choose him. You know what I mean? It's gonna be too late. I feel I feel as though I could be wrong about this, but that's just my opinion. You know. Throughout this visual, he brings the light into the darkness. He brings his incidents. He brings his incident in real life, but he also compare them and it's. I feel like it's a fine line between rap cap and also the struggle of past to bringing it into mixing and into present, which means it's basically what I'm saying is this artist finds a way to talk about actual situations she's been through, yet he also kind of have certain names or topics that allow them to be different as well. The chances he took to put himself in this predicament is much more important in highlighting than the average would know or think about. It's interesting because the outlook or overview of one's pain because that's what majority of this album is. Basically a bunch of pain songs, regardless if it's happy pain or experiencing death that's around you. Help with being hopeless in any event. He speak about people that's around him and how they stepping 10 toes behind him and how it's basically the other way around. Tusi gives off a dark vibe, yet he also turned up in his song and visual. It's no reason why these double XL shouldn't have picked him. Besides the fact that maybe he haven't went super crazy and dropped a number one or, you know, like Billboard or whatever the case. Like, I wouldn't replace him with nobody on the list. And the reason why I keep bringing WXL up, I feel like that was such a milestone for this artist. And because personally, personally, I feel as though that they kind of picked Ride Wave almost too late. But at the same time, from now and since last year, I see why they picked him. I see Ride, like, you know. So if anything, I, I I think maybe I could be wrong, and maybe this time next year, Tusi built up enough fans and supporters and people that really realize like, man, this guy is putting out soulful music that's pretty much undeniable. You know, like you can't teach this, you can't preach this, you can't learn this. You know, it's amazing what music does and what. Tusi has the power to do, you know. This music video basically says light upon a situation, if not a bunch of situations, that Tusi has been in in the past. And as a new artist, most new artists does bring the past up a lot. Um, I consider new artists probably like third or fourth album, like that you still knew, you know what I mean? You still new to the system, you still new to the game. Like fourth going on to your fifth album, that's when like, all right, we kind of solidified pretty much. People know who we are. And at this point, it's all about captivating more souls and staying afloat with things. I don't know how to explain what this artist like what what does he have that's different than any other artist? 
like I can't explain it to you, but when I listen to music, I feel a certain vibe and I feel a heart shift. It's kind of what I call it. It's basically where an artist could literally tell you a situation regardless if it's true or not, and you can believe it between the different artists where they speak about a situation and you probably think it's cap. You feel me what I'm saying? I feel like he has the the it as far as selling music. He's very talented at doing that. He's very talented at talking about a situation and making it believable and it's not it's not about making it believable, it's about basically pouring your art and soul out and making supporters mess with you because they relate or they have some sort of connection to the song that's what it's about but I'm just saying this is his gifted talent this is why I feel as though he is something more than than what Double XL passed on him was you know but then again there's so many other artists out there that is talented and it's hard to pick you know if you're doing like a hundred pitches a hundred different artists. Obviously, a lot of artists are gonna be trash, and you you gonna feel as though like, all right, this this guy shouldn't have been on there. Like to be honest, I definitely think um, Jack Boy is gonna be on the next one. Think I should take the camera? Hmm. Think I should take the camera? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you still getting videos. Huh? So you're still getting videos. You leaving right now, right now? Not right now. I'm going to take them mm -hmm. out. See, take them back in. Yeah, they not going to be done by then. But I really don't need them because I still haven't edited the other videos. So that's probably... <laughs> but uh, the reason why I added this clip before my videos is because I feel like people expect me to put the whole entire video inside of my video which they could just go watch the actual video if they wanted to have or see the whole video tell them why though well it's because of copyrighted reasons you know what i'm saying it's a copyrighted issue you know if you take if you if if i get if i want to make my own barbecue sauce and I literally just steal the, their ingredients right off the back of the the bottle or whatever the case, I could easily get sued. But if I use salt or some sort of other ingredient ex to add to it or maybe take away, then I easily could sell my own barbecue sauce. What? They can I mean, I just need this video to be two minutes. That's why it's dragging out this long. But yeah. Hold on. Somebody had to return my camera. I look sexy. Excuse me. I'm sexy and I know it. I'm just gonna touch you. Should I get this 